So welcome to our review of Sea of Stars, a much anticipated RPG that everybody has been looking forward to. I feel that way. I feel Definitely. That, I feel that there's a lot of hype for this game. We were hyped for this game yep. when we played the demo. What did you think of the demo? Oh, I absolutely loved it. It brought me right into the world and I wanted more. That's what I hate about demos. Yeah. It's like you get so into it and it's like, and we're gonna stop right here. And you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, and they just kind of like throw you in with the demo, which is oh, really, they really threw good. Right in. Right in, and, and you got to experience the combat and all that kinds of stuff. And I just want to say that this is a no spoilers review of the game. We're going to show early demo footage and early footage from the game itself, but no spoilers. We're not going to ruin anything, absolutely, at all. And the one thing I do want to say is this game was kickstarted back in 2020, wow. and it was a successful Kickstarter, and people were like, yes, let's, let's get this game and we're finally here at this moment and I just want to say we played the PS5 version there's also a switch version uh, a PS4 version an Xbox one version a series X version and <laughs> a Windows version all across the media yeah yeah you there's, there's a version for everybody out there yes. so you've got to definitely try it out and uh, don't just listen to us go play the demo and make up your mind for yourselves and as a note our review was finished it was ready to go and then Sabato Studios wrote to us and said, hey, can we sponsor this video? Because we want people to be able to find our game. And we said, sure. So check out the link down below to order Sea of Stars. To begin with, no spoilers on the story. Yes. But something very strange is. Is there a connection? There is a connection <laughs> to this game. Sabato Studios' first game, Messenger. Here, which was a ninja game. A ninja game. Yeah. How does a JRPG and a ninja right game right up your alley? Right up my alley. <laughs> but how do they all relate? Where Sea of Stars takes place thousands of years before this, but supposedly it's a shared universe, which is really, Ooh, really fascinating. I love that stuff. Yeah, they like so they're keeping everything in the family at Sabotage <laughs> Studios. That's for sure. So with no spoilers, the story is about two heroes using the power of the moon and the sun to fight against powerful enemies in the world. And that's the best we can do without spoiling anything. So I think next we should definitely talk about the graphics here. Can I just say, this was so vibrant. Yes. Oh my God, it just like pops out right at you. Yeah, I think that's the amount of colors yes. that they have going on. And sometimes the size of the sprites and it's all sprite, sprite. work yeah. here. But I've got to say, I've got to like commend the team for the amount of work they've done on yeah. these sprite-based the graphics. Detail. The, the detail. detail. Like even when people pop up to talk, yeah. like just the detail in them. Oh is, yeah, oh. on their little profile, profile pictures. Profile pictures, thank they're you. They're so, so, well so detailed. And like in taverns, you were saying. The fire. The fireplace. I'm like, look at the fire. And John's like, yeah, that's fire. I'm like, no, but look at the fire. I know, I know. <laughs> we were really taken back by that. And even when you're running around towns and, and things like that, which are really well oh, detailed. Beautiful. Yeah, full of characters and life. Yes. Yeah and culture in there. But even when you run by some ocean going on. Oh, yeah, there's the reflection. The reflection. reflection. Yeah, just like little things Details. like that. Little things that they didn't need to do, oh, but they've done. they've done. And that's what I want to say is this game, yes, it mimics older I mean, RPGs from our yeah. youth. And they're very, very heavily influenced by Chrono Trigger. But I just want to say that they are really inspired by Chrono Trigger and it shows but they didn't just kind of rest there and just do an old school RPG. No. They've really gone the extra mile to create yeah. something that really looks beautiful. Looks something that would come out on the Sega Saturn and yeah. PS1 days, but better than that and for modern consoles. It's not just a, a rehash of an old game. It's a, a redo of that idea on modern consoles and they've taken full advantage, especially gigantic characters and things like yeah. that. And something that I know you really, really love is what? The map. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know how sometimes I have things with maps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, me too though. I, I like the map. It was yeah. really well done. It made me want to explore even more. And it just, I just want to go off. Yeah, I go off. go off and do more. And yeah, we'll talk about the gameplay for yeah. exploration and things like that, but yeah. graphics as a selling point, it's a winner. Oh, it's this, a winner. It's a winner for sure. And yes, there's a lot of other old school, uh, you know, RPGs out there looking, but this is... It really brings it home. It really brings it home. From the old to the new, yeah. I find, because, you know, it's really hard for me to play those old school games. Games sometimes, yeah. But here, it's like, I get that taste of it, yeah. but it's still the modernized. new. It's still modernized. Yeah, yeah. and there's, there's so many other style of games that are mimicking these styles yeah. these days, but I think this is one of the best. And so Kim's going to talk a bit about the combat, 
But to talk about the combat, we have to look <laughs> once <it> back. <laughs> again back to Chrono Trigger. They really love this game, and that is not a bad thing yep. to be inspired by such a great game. So combat is very much like Chrono Trigger in that it's overhead, you're running around, yeah. you see the enemies on the screen, and by running into them or they run into you, you initiate combat, yes. and that's where things begin. Yeah, and it starts off with turn-based. Yeah. That's what we got here, yes, which is always it. so much fun. I know how yeah. much you like it turn-based yourself. Oh yeah. oh yeah. And just the style overall is good. You got your um, different types of attacks that each character can do. You can do your healing as well. But what's really unique about this is that you got combos. Yes. So by hitting your enemies, you earn points, and you can do combos with your other characters, yeah. depending on what level they're at for a certain balls that you'll see. Yeah. And it is so much fun. The graphics yeah, too. Like so they good. do such a good job with it. Yeah, they do a great job with the graphics for, for combat and all yes. that. But you have so many like you have so many different attacks that yeah. you can do, and that that's the thing. For all your characters. Yeah, for you all can, the characters. You control there's, them all. There's such a variety mm -hmm. of uh, of attacks, and you trying to figure out the, the enemy's weakness. Miss. You're trying to hit it for massive damage just, to do, it, just to do a fun, fun old quote from the old days of E3 <laughs> days, but it's the combo meter that yes. really sells it. And that's again, back hearkening to Chrono Trigger. That's what Chrono Trigger did so well back then. They even have it on the cover of two <laughs> characters doing a combo <laughs> attack. And you've just gotta love that. So combat is really fun, it's really engaging, and can be very, very challenging. Yes, it can. If you can't figure out their weak points, yes. it can be hard. It can be a little bit hard. And, and even when you get into some boss encounters like we did oh, in the demo, it was like, oh my goodness, like it's really yeah, wild I had, stuff. Yeah, I had some gamer rage. I yeah, think. a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. bit. Yeah, for sure. But you always, uh, you know, eventually learn exactly yeah. what you got to do. You get a rhythm. And all that. You get a rhythm going, and that's what this game really has: is a rhythm. rhythm from one group of enemies to another. You'll figure it out, and that's the real fun here. But something else about gameplay, it's not just about combat, it's also about exploration, yep. going around the world, finding treasure, treasure chests, which we always love to do always. in every like, RPG. Like right behind a waterfall and there's a treasure chest! Yeah, <laughs> oh, and that's something else we just gotta say, I know we're coming back to graphics again, but oh, the waterfall you mentioned, yeah. the beautiful animation mm. on the waterfall, yeah. it's like really great stuff, so it's a real nice feeling of exploration and adventure and wonderment, yes. of uh, seeing some things like that, and there's a heavy emphasis on what? Puzzle. Puzzles. Yes. You love puzzles? I love puzzles. This game loves puzzles. Yeah, it, it, it does. <laughs> so in between like combat and things like that, there's all these different puzzles yep. you gotta figure out. It's a very heavy puzzle-centric yep. game. So there's a lot of stuff like that. So yeah. you're opening up different levels, you know, bringing different platforms up, yes. going across it, then getting in combat. And it's always rewarding. Like honestly, yeah. once you're done it, and if something pops up like the treasure chest or something to advance in the game, it's, door it's, opens. It's, yeah. yeah, it's so rewarding once you figure it out. Yeah, it is very rewarding, that's for sure. And there's a lot of different side quests to do for mm -hmm. different characters and all of that. Who doesn't love side Who quests? Did, yeah, this, this person <laughs> right here loves side quests. And there's also a lot of other a variety oh, yeah. of things to do, like Fishing. fishing! You can yeah. do some fishing in here. At first it was very hard to figure out how they do the fishing in this game. I always have trouble in every game with fishing. I'm figuring out how to like get you know better at it. Yeah. yeah, and when it comes up and you get one, it's like, yay! Because you know what you can use that stuff for? Cooking. cooking. <laughs> yeah, there's always cooking in, in every game. Who doesn't love cooking at yeah, the Kim, fire? Kim has, a, Kim has an obsession with like cooking in video games. She <laughs> loves doing it. The Absolutely. food looks so good. It does. It, it does. And especially in pixelated goodness yes. like this, and the food looks extra good. It just makes me want to do more of my my pixel oh, yeah, curler yeah. beads. Yeah, stuff. Oh, my oh my god, gosh. yeah, for sure. So there's quite a lot to do, and especially in showing the game right now, you can see that you can run around towns, explore, yeah. meet different characters, and all that. And that's something I haven't talked about, is the characters are really, really charming and really, oh, really funny. lovely. Yeah, there's really a lot of good humor written in there. That too, yeah, I'm giggling through yeah, it. Yeah, the writing is really good. I know we talked lightly about the story, yeah. but the writing itself is really, really well done. I could see that they spent some time developing these characters, and I, I really I yeah. applaud that as well. It keeps you engaged. It keeps you engaged, yeah. yeah. Now, one of my favorite things to mention in most most video games is the music, especially <laughs> when it is done by legendary composers. Oh. And this game is done by one legendary composer, Yasunori Mitsuda, the guy who did the music for Xenogears 
and Chrono Cross. <laughs> they brought this legend in to do the music and I couldn't believe it. This is one of the selling points of the game for me. Yeah. When I heard he was on board, I'm like, I can't believe they got him See, all these years later. You have such an ear for music, like things that I'm very surprised in. Right. Now, when you're listening to this game, was it picking up some things from others that you're like, oh, this is his style? Oh yeah, like is it like, does this song sound like one yeah. of his other songs? Yeah, there, there's a kind of an emotion of that, mm, yeah. but what I really like here is he's done brand new compositions that are its own thing for this unique game. Yeah. So every one of his games really does sound a little bit different. He really yeah. puts the emphasis to really change it up and make it different. And I think he's really knocked it out of the park. I really love some of the boss music, some of the, the uh, you know, combat music. Yeah. It's really good. And I got also got to mention- mu music just, too. Yeah, just world music yeah. in general. But I also got to say that Eric Brown is the other composer who yeah. did the music. And uh, I think he did a really great job as well. In fact, sometimes I'm like, who did this? Who did who that? that? You know, it's, it's one of those, but I really think it fits the game over overall really, really well. I've been really enjoying my time with this game. It's so beautiful. I can't get over how vibrant this game yeah. is. And it just, it, you just don't want to stop. Yeah. You're just so immersed in the world and then the characters and things like that. I just want to keep going. Yeah. Like the style itself is so gorgeous, so unique to its own game. It is, especially if you like old school games yes. that we, I, mean, I know we mentioned this before, yeah. but this is heavily inspired it is. by all the games that I personally grew up with. Yeah. And I gotta say, my recommendation for this game is for people who enjoyed older RPGs yeah. from back in the day, or people who still like new RPGs. Like myself. Yeah, like yourself, yeah. for sure, that want to experience kind of new games. With a little bit of the old. Yeah, with a little bit of the old, but a new facelift yes, on there. Yes, that's really good on to there. Say, yeah. yeah, and some really good writing in there and stuff like that. I think they've really kind of nailed this game, mm -hmm. and they've really, it had a certain level of expectations. Oh, yeah. And I, even when we played the demo, I was like, oh my god, like this is really good. Like, <laughs> never mind playing the Blow real my game. Way. Yeah, so I think if you're going into the game expecting great things, yeah. I think you're gonna find some great things, but understand that it is an old school mm -hmm. RPG at its heart. Yes. So know that. Know that there's no action combat in this one. It's turn based as Kim was saying yes. you know, earlier on. And the, the charm lies in that. And I, it's funny in playing this turn based as well. It made me remember mm. why I played yeah. all those old RPGs. I was just like, yeah, I love doing this like, combat. Could you imagine having this game? I already, I already thought about that. <laughs> I already thought about that. If it was me back like 25 years, and I would have been like, And this was your game? Holy, we would have been blown away. Like, I yeah. couldn't even tell you. We'd been like staggered yeah. looking at it going, I can't believe this. Mm -hmm. And there, I know there's a lot of RPGs nowadays and things like this, but yeah. Sea of Stars is something special and it's yeah. definitely something to check out. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're on the fence about it, I think it really lives up to expectations, yeah. but it is, you know, haunted by being an old school RPG. And to some people, that's a hindrance nowadays not yeah. not for us we're, no. old, we're old school yes. that way and that is for sure so guys we just want to come in and do our review of sea of stars it's finally here and in 2024 oh, yeah. early 2024 there's a physical copy yeah. coming as well I'll be picking it up of course day one and when that vinyl comes out if that ever oh, comes oh, out yeah that's oh, another one to be eh? picking up absolutely <laughs> you can tell that we actually really enjoyed our time with sea of stars and we're looking forward to getting right back to it so anyways guys until next time